score. Cheers. And so tomorrow is lunchtime, right? I don't have time to make it uh, do lunchtime because I'm busy. So I'm going to make it tonight. I uh, you know, I'm still cooking the snack there, the bacon and all that stuff. I'm going to keep the bacon grease this time. Don't get rid of the bacon grease. We're going to use it. We're going to use it to, uh, uh, for the zucchini. I'm going to cut the zucchini up and stuff. You see. Uh, I'm making uh, short ribs today. Uh, so we're just going to pop that in the oven. And, uh, you know, add whatever spices you want, stuff like that, to it. And then I'm going to make a sauce using a, a great hot sauce. And if you look, you know, can see that. So, you know, carbs one, sugar zero, fiber zero. So this is one, and it's one per uh, per teaspoon. One per teaspoon. So for every teaspoon is one sugar. So it's a good sauce, right? You can have that. So you can put it on wings, you can put it on steak, you can put it on anything. You can add mustard to it if you want it. Uh, I'm just going to use this butter, and I'll show you uh, later on. So uh, I will very soon uh, uh, show you the, the shirt ribs, and I'll show you how to cut up the zucchini and cook that, and then we'll box it up for tomorrow's lunch. I hope you're having a great day. Hey, how's it going? Like I said. We're going to make lunch for tomorrow. We're using the bacon grease from the snack earlier. Uh, so you're going to cut this thin like that and just lie and flat it. Uh, nothing special about this. It's just going to make it like something a little crispy uh, just for something different. Just so you have a little bit of a change. Like I said, I do things simple, stupid, right? And this is simple, stupid. So we'll put it on a little bit of spice on them. We got the bacon grease cooking them. A little salt, some pepper, and then uh, my favorite spice, Cajun. I like a little bit of heat. So there you go. But you can use anything you want. Okay. So then I made some short ribs. Some yummy short ribs right there. There's some yummy short ribs. And we're going to make a sauce for it. Now you can make this sauce for any kind of meat, right? So I'm going to keep it simple stupid. You know me. Take a little butter. And when I say a little butter, I mean a lot. Right? You got lots of butter. You can put in a tiny bit of coconut oil. Just for a little bit more flat. Fat. One sugar per teaspoon. You got lots. So you can just pour some in. Yeah. So taste. There you go. Cajun again, you add some Cajun. If you want some uh, pepper, garlic, uh, you name it, you put it in. And then, you know, just like normal. Just put your stuff in there. And uh, stir it up. Okay? And then when you, when it's all mixed up and you have everything coated, uh, you can A, put it back in the oven and make it harder, or uh, I'm going to take it to work, and so we'll do that. Uh, so it'll be uh, mixed in, it'll be great, no problem at all. Uh, and so that will be tomorrow, and uh, you know, tomorrow I'll show you what it all looks like at the end. Because you got your zucchini frying, it's going to be uh, crispy. Uh, tomorrow, not so crispy, like if you ate it right away, it'd be crispy, which some of you people might. Uh, and don't forget avocado, we're going to have slices of avocado with it too. So, yeah, avocado, the ribs with the sauce that we created, and uh, the zucchini. Okay. So this is day. Uh, 
this will be day four. Uh, you guys are doing a hell of a job. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, which will be today, kind of, you know, uh, we're going to talk about what to do when you have cravings. Cravings are very hard to deal with. And uh, I'm going to give you some tips that I use uh, to help with cravings. Okay, don't forget uh, you want to boil some eggs, you want to get some bacon, some sausage ready for snacks tomorrow. Day four of a keto journey tomorrow, today. Take care. And there we are, the short ribs and everything we made yesterday, uh, all ready to go. So, uh, it's, you know, the zucchini would have been crispier had we ate it right away, but that doesn't happen that way uh, when you have to have it for lunch the next day. So if you want like crispier zucchini, eat it right away and you can make both sides crispy. It's, it's kind of nice. It's soft in the middle, crispy on the outside. Uh, cheese over there. You can also do the same thing with broccoli. Uh, if you want to fry up your broccoli, you can make it crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. It's pretty good, like just flat broccoli. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, just thought I'd show you my yummy meal that I'm about to dig into here. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye. Hey, Profiteers, how you doing? Uh, so, as I've been mentioning, I've been doing the seven day keto for you guys. I'm on day four in the middle there, just had lunch. I went for my run. Uh, so some of you are going to see this without the keto journey and some of you will be seeing this right in the middle of uh, day four. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was uh, uh, cravings, particularly food cravings. Now for me, my cravings were because I get sad or I get frustrated or I get anxious or basically emotions, angry, all of them, <laughs> except for joy maybe, maybe even joy. I just enjoyed eating. But I would eat more when that happened. I also ate more when I was bored. So my lifestyle was uh, rinse, re wash, and repeat. It really was. I would come home from work. I would sit on. I would go do something with my kids. I get all my kids saturated, homework, play with them, all that stuff. And then the rest of the night after I got the bath and the bed done was mine. And instead of doing something productive. I would either go on my PC and I would play uh, uh, massively multiplayer uh, Dungeons and Dragons was my game because uh, it made me feel good or I'd be watching a TV show or I'd rent movies or you know back in the day when I was blockbuster you young people don't know what that is but that, it's Netflix really uh, and I would use that opportunity to eat and I'd eat and eat and eat that's the uh, unmindfulness eating that's where you're eating and not paying attention so your body never really knows that you're eating you get to the bottom of the bag and you're like huh I could eat more and then you go get a bowl of peanuts and then you go get ice cream now you people that you know are like five pounds heavier or whatever <laughs> you don't understand it, it's not like that you know like yeah you guys maybe eat a bag of chips but no when I was huge uh, 356 pounds, which I consider huge. Uh, there was no limit to what I'd eat. I would just keep on eating. Because uh, while I was eating, I felt joy. So what I found when I started keto, I had the same problem. I still wanted to just sit around. I still wanted to, uh, you know, eat. I wanted to, I switched for almonds and eggs and stuff like that, and bacon. Uh, but, so what I did is I changed my behavior. If you're doing the same things, if you're when you go to watch a movie, you're going to eat because that's what your body used to. You got to break that pattern. When you when you get feel that craving come on, if you're in the middle of watching a movie, you feel that craving come on, go for a walk. Don't eat anything. Walk away from it. If you're uh, if you're uh, <laughs> if you're at home and you're sad, you know, and uh, you know you you want to eat, you want to have ice cream or something walk away from it walk away uh, you go for a run you go for a walk go for a bike ride call a friend like immediately just call a friend and go hey how's it going what are you up to get your mind off it do something different change behaviors make your evening completely different than what it was used to be don't go into the pattern that you did when you were eating a whole bunch of food go into a brand new pattern you're gonna start losing weight you're gonna have all kinds of energy prep yourself join some clubs get ready because it's going to happen. You're going to start having energy. Day four, 
uh, you start get, feeling that energy, by day seven, you will have that energy. Uh, and the only way this is effective is if you get past uh, a month or two months. Once you get past two months, then it's patterns and it's healthy patterns and it'll change your life and you won't have those cravings anymore. Honest to God, I don't have cravings anymore. When I'm sad or angry, I do something about it, right? I do. I, I, I'll go for a run, I'll go for a walk, I'll call a friend, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll do some art. Uh, I, I just don't lean into the food anymore. I, I picked something to replace it. Now I'm gonna have people here going, you don't understand addiction, addiction. I, I, I'm not talking about mental addiction. I'm not talking about chemical addiction, which food is kind of a chemical addiction, but it's different. I'm talking about uh, emotional addiction. So this is emotional addiction. And uh, I found the best way to handle emotional addiction is to change your reaction, recognize that the way I deal with emotions is I eat. Recognize that right off the top. What can I do to give me the same feeling that eating does? What can I do to give myself joy? What can I do to change perspective? James from Soaring Profits, I hope this helped. And if it, uh, you have anything to say about it, please add in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, let's heal our minds, bodies, and souls together. We're on a journey together. We're gonna do this. We're going to make it. Stick with me. It will get better, I promise. Hey, here we are at the end of day four. Today I chose sausage and almonds and cheese and I have my drink. And remember, your drink is uh, uh, yogurt, almond milk, uh, an avocado, uh, and a couple of berries. Like you can use some strawberries, you can use blueberries. You can change it up any way you want. Um, it's really up to you. Uh, you, uh, there's the meal right there. Uh, yeah, so explore, like take your time. You can, instead of sausage, you can use some wings, instead, or you could use a couple of ribs, or you could use any meat really, as long as it's a fatty meat. <laughs> and the cheese, you can use any cheese. Like it doesn't have to be cheddar, it could be mozzarella, it can be like, herb and garlic, whatever, uh, you know, mix it up. Try new things. Uh, as for the nuts, like I said, you can use sunflower seeds or um, uh, any kind of seeds. <laughs> Brain's not working apparently, or, is there, or other nuts. If you look online, keto nuts, it'll give you a list of the nuts you can choose and you can, so you can have more, uh, more choice. Uh, for me, I like the same, like I told you before, keep it simple stupid the more simple it is the more easy it is it just is uh, more doable I'm already feeling less hungry so I'm forcing myself to eat this meal uh, otherwise I probably wouldn't because I'm quite full I, I, I the, once I, I stop the sugar like I don't need a lot of sugar anyway but once I stop the other sugars in pastas and stuff like that then my um, cravings just go away like and I feel satiated way easier. So I'm hoping you're feeling the same way. I hope you're sticking to the water, lots of water, even though, even if you stopped uh, feeling all those, you know, that keto flu, uh, you still should be drinking water like every hour, even more than that, it would be great. Uh, and tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys through a day. So tomorrow would be day five. Uh, I'll take you through a day of what it looks like if you can't be at home, right? So you gotta be on the road, you gotta be, elsewhere so i'm going to show you you know a couple of things that we can do uh, when we can't be at home uh, i hope you had a great day today day four uh, you guys are killing it i'm so proud of each and every one of you and uh, you know what the time will fly by i hope you've made your calendars uh, the, the 60 days <clears throat> that you plan on doing because uh, I hope you're not just doing seven days. I know this is a seven day journey together that we're doing keto, but I hope you carry it on after that. So I hope you made a calendar and you're crossing off each day. And after 60 days, you have that big cheat day plan for like pizza, whatever you want. Anyway, James from Soaring Profits, I just thought I'd check in again, uh, talk about the, the, last, the last meal of the day. 
and uh, enjoy yourself. Make sure you uh, make snacks for tomorrow again. Uh, you might be crazy. Uh, if you make snacks for tomorrow, uh, eggs, sausage, whatever nuts you like, cheeses, uh, and really enjoy yourself. Have a great day. I know I will.